If, like me, you were a teenager in the 70s, then like my bedroom wall, your bedroom wall was probably littered with posters of my next guest, Donny Osmond. Along with his brothers, they were huge teen idols, and this summer they're embarking on a 50th anniversary reunion tour, which includes a date here in Belfast. Joining me from Utah is Donny Osmond. How are you, Patricia? Well, how are you? By the way, it's time to take the posters down, Patricia. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> well, well, my mother always claimed it was great because she never had to wallpaper my bedroom. Well, exactly. It's cheap wallpaper, wasn't it? Very cheap wallpaper. And it was yeah. lovely to wake up to your smiling face every morning, <laughs> well, I, I have you. to say. Now, is the whole family involved in this tour? Everybody. I mean, from Alan all down to Jimmy. So it's all the original seven performers. First time in 27 years that we've uh, toured together. And whose decision was it for everybody to get together and, and, and head on out on this tour? I think it was just a natural thing that took place because this year being uh, our brother's 50th anniversary in show business, we thought, what a perfect time to bring it all back together. And, well, we've talked about it for years, but we, nobody ever just put the foot forward. And uh, this, it just felt right. We did a show in Las Vegas that's airing here in the United States right now. And uh, that, that was the impetus to put us all back together and do this tour. And did it actually mean getting back together and having to start rehearsing all over again and you know, doing the dance routines? That begins in about three weeks. Okay. Uh, we, it, we've been heavily involved in pre-production because um, <laughs> this is kind of interesting. In my basement, I have had all of these years uh, footage and films of, of the early 70s. Stuff that has never seen the light of day, and we're going to be using it for the first time. So first time in 35 years or so that we'll be able to, to see on screen the Osmonds doing the same routine live as they are in the screen 35 years ago. Oh, <laughs> uh, you, you're obviously all a very fit bunch of people. A uh, bunch of what? But you're all very a fit bunch of people that you're able to well, do no, the same really. routines. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the interesting thing. <laughs> I mean, and, come on, some of us are 60, okay? And how many countries are you planning on traveling to? Uh, all across the UK, then we're hitting Asia, we're hitting Australia. Uh, so it's, it's a pretty intensive um, six-week tour. And you're actually kicking it off here in, at the, the, in Ireland in, in the Belfast Odyssey Arena on the, uh, eight, the, first show. the 18th of May. Yeah, that, that's the one that's going to be so exciting because we're doing everything for the first time. And then I've already noticed that a number of your dates in England have already sold out. Are you amazed at the reaction to the Completely. tour? Completely. I mean, we, we put a, a show on at Wembley, uh, or we put it on sale, and it went clean, I think, in an hour or two. And so they said, we've got to do another one. So we added a second show, and, and I think it went clean. And then uh, we added a third one at the O2 Arena, the new O2 Arena. So, I mean, it's... it's unbelievable what's happened to this tour I mean, we thought it was just gonna be a nice little fun reunion uh, of the brothers and marie and it's turned out to be a huge tour and what can people expect all of the golden oldies of course you, you got to do that that's one of the things uh, i've demanded on this tour is nothing but hits nothing but uh but songs that uh, that people are familiar with although we are going to be doing one medley of songs that are our favorites uh, that never were released as singles. We call it the should have been singles medley. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good. That'd be, and actually, out of interest, what, what music do you like to listen to? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of into uh, everything, to be honest with you, Patricia. I, uh, I have my favorite bands. Uh, uh, Dashboard Confessionals is, is one that, that's fun because my kids play it all the time. Uh, Maroon 5 is, uh, is a favorite band of mine. Um, Rihanna, I loved uh, her last uh, bit of stuff. But I always like to go back to the 70s and hear my, uh, I mean, I've replaced all my vinyl with MP3s, but, yeah. but I, I go back and listen to uh, Stevie and Elton and all those guys. Yeah, the, mu- the, the, the music of the 70s, you just, you can't beat it. You really can't beat it. And I think that explains why your tour is selling out. It's because it's bringing people back to the 70s. Well, what's interesting, Patricia, is that we're finding the people buying the tickets are not only what I call the puppy lovers and, the, and those that grew up with us in the 70s, but it's also younger kids coming to see what's referred to as the origi- one of the original boy bands. Yeah. And um, we're finding a lot of industry people coming out to see uh, a bit of history. Yeah, talk to me about being part of what was the original uh, boy band and the whole Osmond mania and how it was a very mad time, wasn't it, for you? It was crazy, and I never really realized how crazy it was until I started going through all this footage to uh, incorporate it into the show. 
uh, you know, people refer to it as Osman mania, and it's such ancient history in people's minds, even in mine. But by looking at this footage and, and seeing it for the first time in, in 35, 36 years, it was absolutely chaotic. I, I, we haven't even seen anything like that since. Yeah, and I mean, you would have gone and played places and, and stayed in hotels and would have had fans camping out outside the door. It, it must have made life difficult for you as well. Well, it was my life. I didn't know any difference. Uh, it was very exciting at times and very lonely at the others. And, uh, I mean, you go from... <laughs> I mean, put yourself in my shoes for a second. Uh, you go from mass hysteria on stage, and a few minutes later, you're in seclusion at the hotel. You can't go anywhere. I mean, it's from extreme noise to extreme silence. It, it, it is a life of extremes, but i got to tell you, it was a, an exciting time of my life. And, uh, yes, show business can be challenging. Uh, it certainly has been a challenge in my life, of the ups and downs of a roller coaster ride. But come on, I mean, how many people would love to yeah. have lived that kind of life? And, and, and what, looking back, what do you attribute to the success of the Osmonds? What, what, was it just purely the music? Well, I think it was more than that. Uh, here again, after looking back from a different perspective at all this film that I've been going through, the routines that we had, you know, we were spot on with our routines, and, and, and the look was unique. You know, all of us dressed alike and in those outfits that looked like Elvis. As a matter of fact, we had the same designer as Elvis, and it was just something different. It was new on the scene. It was Jackson's and the Osmonds, and it was just unique. The sound was good. Uh, the music was good. I mean, comparatively speaking, it was, uh, you know, it was the 70s, the early 70s. Production-wise, it's so much better today, but the songs were great. Yeah, and do you look at sort of the modern-day boy bands and think, they're copying us. That's exactly what we were doing in the 70s. Exactly. You know, it's, it's kind of a full-circle situation. Um, same thing, different faces. And are many of the families still involved in, in, in the music industry? They are. Um, my brothers tour quite a bit. Uh, they've, they've toured in Branson, Missouri, a smaller place, kind of like Blackpool over there. And, but they're doing show, shows all the time. Marie is uh, heavily involved in the business. Jimmy produces uh, all the time. He, he produced this television show that's airing here in the States now. And, of course, I, I'm out there all the time. So, yeah, we're still involved. But, you know, it's not like it used to be in the 70s. I and mean, Nobody can ride that wave forever. But... Uh, we're certainly going to enjoy this wave coming up in, uh, what, in about a month and a half or so. We all fell in, in love with Jimmy when he was on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Yeah. Uh, he was robbed. He should have won it, hands I down. I think he should have won. <laughs> he was excellent. Were you able to follow that in America? I did. On yeah. the Internet, I was, uh, I was watching it intensely. And, and uh, that little teddy bear he brought yeah. the contraband of salt and yeah. pepper. <laughs> 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 Only Jimmy Osmond could smuggle in salt and pepper. I got an idea, and I presented it to Jimmy yesterday, how he should do Long-Haired Lover from Liverpool. Go on. And I'm not going to give it away here, but it's probably going to be my favorite part of the show. Okay, we will look forward to that. And, of course, they're, they're, they're the next generation of the Osmonds, they're also proving to be extremely musical. They are. As a matter of fact, uh, some of the backgrounds and, and even some of the uh, little nephews are going to be on the road working the show. Uh, not on the show. I mean, it's just going to be the seven performers. But uh, they've been involved peripherally in the pre-production and things like that. So, yeah, the, the, uh, the talent continues on, I guess. Which is great. Which is great. You mentioned a couple of minutes ago Michael Jackson and the, and the Jackson 5. And Michael Jackson, of course, would have been almost your rival at, at, at the time. Yeah. Do, do you look on Michael Jackson now with sympathy and, and wonder where it all went wrong for him? I do, actually. I, and I've stayed in touch with him over the years. But... You know, he, uh, he went off on a tangent to superstardom, and, and it kind of did some damage. You know, not kind of, really did some damage. Yeah. But uh, this business can really mess your head up, mess your mind, and if you start believing your own hype. And, um, I still have faith in Michael. He could do something, you know, if, if it just comes back to grassroots. But I think, and I've, I've uh, submitted this to Mike, I think one of these days, a Jackson Osmond tour, which has never happened in history, would be an unbelievable tour.